Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to our brand new video. In 2023, broaden your product offerings on Shopify by connecting Subly Full. This tutorial, I will guide you on how to connect or integrate Subly Full to Shopify in 2023, allowing you to source and list a wider range of products or your online store so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so of course guys first thing head up to shopify.com and then connect your account which is what we do always here you just have to choose your store that you are going to work on and there you have it so now we are on this dashboard the next thing is obviously adding an app. To find apps, you just have to go to the left side menu, click on apps, and then here, click on all recommended apps. Then choose Shopify App Store button on the bottom of the page. Click on it, and you will be retaken or redirected to this page of which is called the App Store of Shopify. You will find here all the different kind of apps. So let's start by searching for sub. Before, and there we have it. So, Subliful and Demand CPG. Let's click on it, and here it is. So, this is the app that we want to add. So, on the band drop shipping service for consumer packaged goods, Subliful offers the necessary automation and personalization tools to launch your wife label supplement products from proteins, vitamins, coffee, etc. In a few easy steps, when someone buys from your store, Superfall will take care of packing, shipping, and after sale service. The best part is you only pay the product based cost after someone has already bought from your store. You keep the profit while Superfall takes care of the rest. So, this is what you are going to get. Product personalization tools, high quality mockup templates, automated dropshipping, and top class support. So, these are the top things that you are going to get by adding Supplyfall to your website. For the pricing, this app actually varies on three parts. The free plan, the starter plan, and the creator plan. For the free to install, you will only have one self-support and one store integration and a storefront. The starter plan which starts by $50 per month or $550 per year and saves 6%. Everything in free plan and more. Up to 15 discount percent, 15 percent of discounts and a live customer support. Then you will come to the creator plan. The creator plan is about $349 per month or 3 k 600 a year and save 15%. You will have everything in the starter plan and the free plan. Dedicated account manager, branded customer support and 15 hours total support per month. So these are the different plans and their own features. Depending on your store and what you're going for exactly, you can choose whatever plan you see here fit in your business and you can simply go for it. Now for the reviews, as you can see, the review total is around 4.8. 556, one of them has voted with 5 stores, 75, 4 stars and 6 with 3 and 3 with 2 and 6 people with only 1 star. So obviously, this app is already a buzzing app. So let's get and install it. Now, after you click on, this, on the install button, you will be redirected to the Subliful website or you will be redirected to inside of your store to get to install the app inside of it. Now here, it seems like it is going to take a little bit of time. So just let me refresh the page real quick and see how it is going to go. And if it doesn't work, you just simply have to create an account real quick. And as you may see here, 
I'm just going to log in and create one account. And simply, if I was logged in, I will not face these problems. So let me just refresh this page. As you can see, the account has been logged in successfully and directly. And now all I have to do next is simply wait for the website to actually work. It can be a cause of the uh, like the ad blocks. That's why it's not working or full working. And that's why it is taking a little bit of time. But overall, it won't take that long for you as well, guys. It's just a problem for my side. Now, once you actually update this page and it's functioning for you, the next thing to do is you will find an integration button on your profile. Click on it and they will ask you to add the code of your Shopify store. Well, the code, obviously, or for most of the people, they will not know it. You will find it here in the admin.shopify.com store. This is the code. For me, it is 0663E4. Copy it and paste it on the Sapliful website. And then the integration shall be done. And all the services that you will get from the free plan, premium plan, anything, this is how it works. So for me now, I'm trying it, but it seems like it is very, very slow at the moment. I don't know why exactly this bug is happening to me exactly, but overall, I could understand. And as you can see here, this is the code of my website. So it's the, the thing that I've told you is correctly. So you just have to follow what I've said, even though I'm having such a problem. Now, what are the problems that you might face during the installation besides this little problem that I'm facing right now? Well, the first thing is the incompatibility of the app with your store. Make sure to know which countries does this app support. So, Sapliful supported countries. And there you have it. So, they accept only those countries. USA, Canada, Vietnam, Andorra, Australia, Denmark, Italy, Monaco, Netherlands, New Zealand. So you can take a screenshot. I'm going to leave it like that for you. So you can take a good screenshot as you can see. So here you go. Three, two, and one. And you can just check this place by your own and see if your website is one of all these countries. How to check in your website itself. Just go to the bottom left settings button and then go to the business address and there you will find the address of your website. Make sure to change it to one of these countries and there you have it. The app will be compatible with your website without any problems. And yeah guys, that is how you can connect and integrate Shopify with Sapli4. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I will answer all of your questions. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.